Jados, just a lad who loves to get loose and do reviews. What's up lads, Jados here, gonna do a cultural review for you today. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am the undisputed king of the worksite and the king of the festival. Check out that, two years old. All right, now we're gonna be talking about BBC Life today. It's a bloody HD doco, so get out your high defs plasmas and that. Uh, what can I say, it was narrated by David Attenborough's. He was one of them James Bonds. All right, it was on the ABC last year. Don't let that put you off. It is sick, I'm telling you. Let's have a look. Guys, what we're talking here, right, is 10 episodes, each go for one whole hour, and it is freaking sick for when you are coming down the next day, okay? Basically, I was at a festival, I call it the 10 Pill Festival, because I've done 10 pills. I was that high that I thought I had shit myself when I hadn't even shit myself. And then later on when I did shit myself, I didn't even know I'd shit myself. It took some girl I was hooking up with to tell me that I had shit in my pants. So the next day, I was pretty much rooted, and I watched this for the whole day, and it made me feel that much better about life. I wanted to talk about some of them butterflies. Uh, there's an episode with them in it, and I used to not even like butterflies. I used to think, oh yeah, they were just like woof the moths. But on thinking about it, they go to Mexico once a year to chill out, and I go to Bali once a year to get loose with the boys. Seriously, these snout-nosed moles are so disgusting. They're the grossest thing I've ever seen. Like, all the times and all the birds that I've been with it with, like, dirt up their moots and stuff, I've never even seen something so gross. It's like a cross between, a, like, a vag and about ten dicks all coming off the vag, and it's this thing's nose. Ah, oh, fuck. He puts these treasures on display within and around a construction that has taken him years to build. A giant bower woven around a central sapling carpeted with moss. This grand design is no nest. It's the ultimate seduction parlor. But the segment on bowbirds taught me a lot. Okay, what they do is they make these huts and then they put all these little decorations around and the female comes in and like checks it out and is like, oh yeah, it's pretty nice. All is to her liking. appealing for when ladies come around. Check this out. Not lady appealing, lady appealing. What about if the lady's a bit freaky and she likes girls? Back to that. Sick. I'll give you the official JDOS list of sick animals, all right? Snakes, number one. Mices, number two. Owls, number three. Number four, coming in at dolphins, okay? Number five, insects. They are the best animal ever. Insects are Fucking awesome, okay? Unless they're on your building site and then you gotta fuck them up because they will get in and eat a lot of shit. Alright, lads, that wraps it up for my review of BBC Life. Let's hit the D floor, find out what the final verdict is. JDOS's rating for BBC Life 4 out of 5 dingers. <laughs>